Ladies and gentlemen, it's to tell the truth. And here sitting in for Gary Moore is your host for today, Bill Collins. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> First time I ever saw a loaf of bread get applause. <laughs> Thank you all. I, I know I'm not supposed to talk with my mouth full, but actually I'm doing my job. You see, this delicious pumpernickel bread was provided by our first, he provided a fly too, was provided by our first guest today. We'll meet him in a minute as he tries to fool you and our panel <laughs> here on to tell the truth. Derwood Kirby. Peggy Cat. Mark Goodson. And Kitty Carlisle. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh that's for me. Oh, yes, I'm on a diet. Wait till you're not now. You do what you're told on this show. Everybody on this show does what they're told. And hi, Derek. Good to have you all hi, back Bill. again. Thanks and, for bringing lunch in. That's all right. <laughs> and Peggy. Hi, how are you? I wasn't kind to you yesterday, Mark. I know that. You were very nice. You were very good. Oh, good. I'll do Thank the you. same. Thank bit. you for the bagel. Same bit today, then. Short <laughs> shrift for our packager. And Kitty, happy to have you. Thank you. Okay. That was a funny noise you made. Say that again. <laughs> it's my electronic, yes. <clears throat> what is this? I, uh, mm -hmm. Wait, I thought I did a great job on yesterday's show. I called my wife, I told her, swell. And here on the desk it says, Peggy replaces Bill as MC. That's right, and I don't want you to feel badly. It's only a temporary arrangement. I feel badly. Well, I know, but you were fair only. Oh. The first guest on the show is a gentleman I know very well, so I get to be the MC. Right. And since you don't know him, you get to ask the questions and vote. Oh, and I can eat so, bread, too. Yeah, so let's switch places and get on with the game. Right. Oh, good. I'm glad finally we got a lady. Women's liberation. We've got a woman on this show. Hooray! Bravo to our side. <laughs> Isn't this the biggest loaf of bread you ever saw in your whole life? Yeah. Okay, let's meet my friend, the man who brought us these delicious bagels and pumpernickel. <laughs> Number one, what is your name, please? My name is High Lipstein. Number two. My name is High Lipstein. <laughs> Number three. My name is High Lipstein. Now let me read High Lipstein's story. I, High Lipstein, am known as the Bagel King. I distribute delicious bagels, bialis, rye, and pumpernickel bread to New York's finest restaurants and nightclubs. While making my nocturnal rounds, I frequently meet Broadway and television stars, famous movie actors, and sports personalities. I have discovered that the one thing these famous people have in common is this, they love bagels. When I offer them the gift of a bag of bagels, beautiful ladies kiss me, and strong men beam with delight. I usually ask them if they would mind if I took a snapshot of them with me and my bagels. As a result, the inside of my delivery truck is filled with pictures of such luminaries as Lauren Bacall, Duke Ellington, and Zsa Zsa Gabor. One of my favorite bagel mavens is here today to tell the truth, delightful Peggy Cass. <laughs> All right, panel, all three gentlemen claim to be my friend, High Lipstein, the Bagel King. Let's start the questioning with... Oh, there's a commercial, commercial first. Huh? Oh, nuts. <laughs> This week in game show history, Bud Collier disguises celebrities for cash with the debut of Masquerade Party. Bob Eubanks whoopies it up with the premiere of the newlywed game. And match game panelist Richard Dawson turns host with the debut of The Family Feud. Your wallet is always in danger. Criminals can scan and hack your information without you even knowing. Worse yet, it's bulky and so disorganized, but not anymore. Because Slim is in. Introducing Slim Mint, an ultra-thin RFID blocking 
Checking wallet that keeps your cards and cash truly protected. And now may be your last chance to get it for a low price. Slim Mint uses the latest RFID blocking technology to prevent thieves from scanning your wallet and stealing your info. Having your information stolen is a nightmare. But with Slim Mint, I know I'm protected. With money clips, cash can easily fall out. But with the auto locking Slim Mint, your cards and money stay securely in place. Then just press the button to release the lock. Slim Mint is ergonomically designed to optimize space and keep your belongings organized. It has a built in cash clip and a flexible outer band to securely fit your additional cards and your extra cash. Even with everything you see here in the Slim Mint, it's still ultra thin. Bulky wallets are uncomfortable, but the Slim Mint is so compact. It fits in any size pocket. Plus, it keeps everything easy to access. Slim Mint holds everything from pictures to credit cards, my driver's license. Yeah, it's still so thin. Say bye bye to bent cards and damaged magnetic strips. Slim Mint keeps them protected. It's crush resistant and can really take a beating. Similar wallets sell for over $100. But call or click now and get Slim Mint for just $29.99. Order in the next five minutes and you'll get an instant $10 discount. So it's only $19.99. But wait, do to rising costs and supply chain shortages, this may be your last chance to get Slim Mint at this low price. There's a strict limit of three Slim Mint wallets while supplies last. You still have time to get your very own Slim Mint wallets, but you must act fast. Don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-431-5516. That's 1-800-431-5516. Call or visit SlimMintWallet.com. So call 1-800-431-5516. Order now. We need some help. I know. I'm going to CashNetUSA.com. And if approved, we can have the money in our account as soon as the same business day. Go to CashNetUSA.com to apply for the money you need. Poshmark is the perfect side hustle. There's so much I can sell. Bags, clothes, and even electronics. It's so easy. I can list in 60 seconds or less. I can't imagine a better side hustle. Another question. What makes Slotomania the number one free slots game? They're huge jackpots. Yes. Yes. It's a perfect me time game. Yes. It's new Family Feud Slot. Slotomania presents the all-new Family Feud Slot. Download now and get one million coins and break your piggy for free. Slotomania. All right, panel. All three gentlemen claim to be my friend High Lipstein, the Bagel King. Let's start the questioning with our former MC, Bill Cullen. <laughs> Peggy, I want you to know in all my many years, no one has ever done as much for my confidence as you have right now. <laughs> and I mean that in the sweetest possible mm. way. Hey, number, number one, uh, there was... This summer, this past summer, there was a story Zsa Zsa Gabor was robbed of all her many sparkling things. And you took her, is this true? Are you the person who took the bagels up to Zsa Zsa's place, number one? Yes. You were the one who went up there? Yes. Number three, don't you think that's sort of dangerous, going up to Zsa Zsa's place right after everyone stole all her rings? No, this was before. Oh, you didn't go up after? Uh, after I gave her another bag, but this was before. The I first time I met her, I gave her a bag of bagels. I see. Number, number two, I read it. <laughs> well, wait a minute, number three. <laughs> so the first time I met, I gave a bag of bagels. I got she gave that. a kiss. She I likes got... bagels. <laughs> I like a bagel. All right. <laughs> you uh, have. When was the first time, number three, that you you gave uh, Zsa Zsa a bag of bagels? I met her in one of the nightclubs. I went over. I said, Mrs. Scrapu, is a bag of bagels. She's for me. I said, yes. Then I asked if I can take a picture with her with me. So I gave somebody the camera. Took the picture. <laughs> I vote for number three. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill. And now, Mark. I, I think it's fantastic. They're also marvelous. Number two, will you say for me a bag of bagels? A bag of bagels. <laughs> number one, would you say a bag of bagels? A bag of bagels. Number three. A bag of bagels. <laughs> That's marvelous. Um, number two, uh, I'm really, what actually is a bagel? What, what, what is a bagel? What is a bagel? That's like asking, what is heaven? 
Number three, what? How, a how do you? A, what? a bagel comes from the Yiddish way to bagel. You know, you bake, you twist something, you bake it. So yeah. that's what's a bagel. I that's understand. how they call it. Well, how do you make a bagel? How, wh why is a bagel different from this other thing here? First, you put the bagel in cold water. Yes. See? And then you take it out and you put it in the oven. Yes. And it gets the brown part of it. Uh -huh. And it's very hard. Don't eat it when it's hot. You should make a record. <laughs> Just <to> make... <laughs> Wonderfully informative. And now we go on to Miss Bagel herself, Kitty Carlisle. I want to thank the management for striking a blow for ladies. We finally have a woman moderator. Thank you. Number two, how come you get to meet the customers? Well, you know, you got to be a little sneaky in this business. Thank you. Number two, do you go from the back door right into the front door with your bag of bagels? Number one, I mean. No, right. Uh, when you deliver the bagels, you deliver them to the kitchen, right? No, it all depends. Sometimes to the front door, sometimes to the kitchen. Well, how come you get into the front door? Well, I bribe the doorman. Aha. Uh -huh. Number three, how much do you have to pay him? Uh, I gotta tell this. Yeah. <laughs> you can lie. It's, you it's according to what he wants, but I don't pay him nothing. I give him a bag of bagels, he's satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> now to Mr. Kirby. Thank you. Uh, number three, it says here in the affidavit, you're the bagel king. Who, who crowned you king? I crowned myself king. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't make it. Number, thank you. Num, number two, what is a Bialy? Is that the way you pronounce it? A Bialy. Yes. A Bialy originated in a place called Bialystok, which used to be part of Poland, then became part of Russia. <laughs> now, the, originally, the, the, the thing came about this way. In ancient history, at that time, there was the Tartars. And these Tartars, you see, that have the grandfather, and this grandfather used to, when they have a marriage, so he... he knock out the front tooth of uh, the son-in-law. But they had to figure out a different way because they had a lot of toothless tartars walking Shut around. Shut up, will you? <laughs> and now, panel, it's time to vote on this very important question. And we must vote for number one, or for number two, or for number three. We pay $50 for each wrong vote and $500 if the panel is stumped completely. <laughs> Bill, you start the voting. I don't want to. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well, it's, it, to me, it's simple. Number, number two and number three are actors. And if they're not, they should be actors. <laughs> and I voted for that reason for number one. He looks like a nice, gentle fellow. Okay, Mark. If number three really is the fellow, it's incredible because he's one of the funniest men I've ever heard, and number two also. I think number one spends more of his time with bagels and less with comedy, so I vote for him. <laughs> Kitty? Well, I think the other two are marvelous, and I think number three probably has the, enough chutzpah to do what he said he did. Uh, chutzpah is like a bagel. You know, yeah. <laughs> but I voted for number one because I think he's the real baker. Derwood? Uh, number three completely fascinated me. Number one is probably the real man, uh, although he didn't seem too interested in this whole thing. But I had to vote for number two because it's the longest playing record I ever heard in my life. <laughs> okay, the votes are all in. As you know, I am the MC of this show because I know High very well and I can prove it. I have a picture of High with me. So take a look and see if you recognize him. to you in a minute, but first let's find out who our imposters are. Number two, you've got uh, one vote. What's your name and what do you really do? My real name is Jack Weinstein, and right now I'm working as a guard for Mandel Securities at the detective agency. I bet they sleep safe. <laughs> and number three, you didn't get any votes, but I'd give you a big kiss. Oh, what, uh, <laughs> My granddaughters are right there. What do you, what's your real name and what do you really My do? My name is Harrison C. Wrestler. I'm a salesman for New York Trim and Fashion at 241 West 36th Street. <laughs> Hi, 
high number one, the real high. Uh, who's the greatest bagel fancy of all your celebrity friends? The, the, the one who likes bagels the most, the real bagel person of all the people you know. Oh, I said I... Well, we'll go on to another question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much. But who what? Jackie Vernon. Jackie Vernon. Yes. Okay, that, he's lost a lot of weight. He must be laying off the bagels. 70 lately. pounds. Okay. I want to thank you all very much. It's wonderful to give me my first opportunity to be an MC. And I love your bagels and your moisture pumpernickel and everything about you. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, Bill, should I read the next thing? Yeah, 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 go ahead. <clears throat> Our next guest is over 21 some of the time, and at other times she isn't. I'd like to know her secret. We'll meet this interesting woman in a moment as TTT, to tell the truth, moves on. You voted, and the pick and play winners are? Well, stay tuned and find out. I work at Lumi Deodorant, and I'm going to tell you how to get the best deal on Lumi. It's the starter pack. You pick two full-size deodorants, and you get two mystery items for free and free shipping. So now's your chance to try Lumi whole body deodorant with 72 hours of odor control. This is a paid advertisement for legal services by attorney Andrew Van Arsdale. Attention Camp Lejeune toxic water survivors. There are many options when it comes to legal representation, but not all law firms are created equal. AVA Law Group has been recognized by Time Magazine, CNN, and Fox News for its work in helping victims of Camp Lejeune toxic water. If you were exposed to toxic water at Camp Lejeune and suffered an injury, call AVA Law Group today and join the thousands of clients we are currently representing in our direct negotiations with the government. We'll make sure your VA benefits aren't put at risk, and if we don't recover money on your behalf, there is no fee. You and your family have made an incredible sacrifice through your service to this country. Let us repay you through our commitment to the Camp Lejeune Justice Act. Call AVA Law Group today. Call 1-800-667-1408, 1-800-667-1408. Hey y'all, this is Jesse James Decker, and I'm partnering with my friends at One Country to give one lucky winner this Dynamax DynaQuest XL. Enter to win at onecountry.com slash jesse. Let me be direct. Why would you pay more than double for teeth straightening with Invisalign? With Smile Direct Club, you get a doctor-directed smile you love for 60% less. That's a lot less. Like a lot. Choose Smile, choose Direct. Internet without trackers. Without malware-ridden files. Zen. Be more Cyber Zen. Get NordVPN. Oh, that was a funny bit. Funny bit, Peggy. <laughs> yes, I like doing that. Oh, you do? Yes. Good, well, stick with it. When you're my age, there might be a little help <laughs> for you. That was Peggy Cass filling in for me, and I'm filling in for Gary Moore, and on the panel is Mark Goodson, who is filling in for me, since I'm here filling in for Gary, and Derwood Kirby, who's filling in for Orson, who's on a leave of absence. <laughs> if there are any questions, just address your letter to Why someone else. Huh? What am I? You're your own sweet self. Oh, you, thank you. You fill in beautifully. <laughs> you're all right. <laughs> Let's meet the woman that uh, Peggy was talking about, who is never far from 21. Number one, what is your name, please? My name is Jean Brady. Number two. My name is Jean Brady. Number three. My name is Jean Brady. Okay, here's Jean Brady's story panel, so if you will, listen carefully. I, Jean Brady, am a blackjack or 21 dealer. I'm the first and only woman to deal cards at a major casino on the Las Vegas Strip in over 30 years. Thanks to a ruling by the State Labor Commission, I am now working at Howard Hughes' glittering silver slipper. Actually, I was employed there as a slot machine cashier when the manager asked me if I'd like to deal blackjack. I turned the new job down at first, but accepted when asked the second time. It's pleasant work, the pay is good, and don't underestimate me, I can handle card sharks with the best of them. Signed, Gene Brady. <laughs> it's 
Kitty Carlisle says I'm a man who will read anything. I will prove that. Let's start the questioning with a man who is quite a card himself. <laughs> Derwood Kirby. Oh, sorry about you that. You do have intestinal fortitude, yes. I'll tell you that. No, uh, it's just cold in my Contestant number head. one, please. How long have you been dealing? Uh, well, I was dealing uh, before Las Vegas for about five years. And where was that? In North Las Vegas, in Jerry's Nugget. And where had you dealt before, number three? Harold's Club in Reno. And you, number two? Well, I dealt in Reno and uh, North Las Vegas and Henderson. Uh, number two, who taught you how to deal? Uh, well, when I learned to deal, they put me with another dealer, and the other dealer taught me. Number three, is that the way you learned? My father taught me how to deal. Oh, your, your daddy taught you, huh? What, uh, what makes a card shark, number one, and how would I detect one? Well, a card shark is someone who plays high stakes and uh, watches everybody else's hands very closely to know all the cards that are out. Okay, a, a lady now who used to be an MC, Peggy Cat. Thank you. Number three, what, 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 what must the dealer stand on? 17. Okay, number two, uh, the dealer must hit if, he's, if he has 16. Right. Okay. Uh, number one, what's insurance? Insurance is when the uh, dealer shows an ace. She offers the players the opportunity to bet on that she... Number three, who's the comic at the Silver Slipper? Right now we don't. Uh, we have uh, Barry Ashton's Wonderful World of Burlesque. The comic changes every week, and I've been away for a week. Thank I you. Number understand. two, who's Hank Henry? He's a comedian. Thank you. Uh, number, uh, number one, uh, what does blackjack pay off? What's the payoff on blackjack? It's uh, one and a half if you have it on a, a natural. Thank you. Number two, do you believe in splitting tens? At times. Well, I mean, what would your advice be? Okay, that brings us to you, Mark. I can see that Peggy not only knows about bagels. She does. You're <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> where is the, number two, where is the silver slipper located in there? Well, it's about the middle of the strip. Number one, you know about other gambling games, too. What, what is the uh, uh, number that you try for in, in Chemin de Fer? Well, I'm not familiar with the other games, really. I see. Number three, what is the number you try for in Chemin de Fer? I'm a dealer. I don't play any of the you other games. You don't play. What is, uh, number two, what does uh, doubling down mean? Well, you get one card face down. If Usually people double on a nine or ten. I see. Num number three, where, where in Las Vegas does Don Rickles generally play? Um, where is it? At the Sands? I'm not real sure, to mm. tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, are you the only lady dealer in Las Vegas? Yes. The There's never been one? <laughs> okay, ends up with you, I'm Kitty. I'm fascinated. Number two, um, why did you turn it down the first time? Well, I was a little reluctant about the publicity that would follow. Why was that? <laughs> because I'm shy. <laughs> uh, number one, was it the money that urged you to do it that finally decided you? Yes, it was. That, number two, it was the money. Number one, do you get tips from satisfied customers who win? Well, we don't really discuss the tips. We get them occasionally. And you pocket them. Uh, number three, can you tell me about card sharks now? Not sharks, really, but cheats. Is there anything that you can look for that you can discover inside? Can one cheat at blackjack? That's, uh, I suppose so. Yeah, you know, that isn't my job. Usually a pit man or something will watch for that. Thank you. Uh, number two, can you... And that just about does it. Thank you, Kitty. It's time to vote now, panel. Vote for number one, number two, or number three. And, uh, Durward, you started the questioning. You may... Yes, thank you, Bill. There. Uh, I, I, thought, uh, I thought they were all very good. Um, I'm not going to go for number one because I, uh, one question she, she hesitated quite a little mm -hmm. bit on. She had to decide within her own mind. Um, number two uh, was also very good. I think she knows the game, but I don't think she's the real dealer. And I think number three is the one we're looking for. All right. Peggy? No, Hank Henry is so synonymous with the silver slipper that I thought that they should know that. And number two, that number one and three should have known that it's a natural later night for Chemin de Fer, I think, if they live in a place where they gamble all that much. So I voted for number the shy one, number two. I'll play your table Mark. if I ever get there. <laughs> yeah, well, they were all very good, and the reason that I am voting for number two was because 
for the reason Peggy mentioned, either one nor three knew about uh, Shaman and the Pharaoh. Even if, even if they were dealers in some other game, they should have known that. And well, number one is definitely shy and could easily be the real one. Uh, number three, I think, is more junior league than blackjack. And I think number two is really shy and knows her business, and I voted for her. Okay, we have zero for one, three for number two. Number three has one vote. Will the real Jean Brady please stand up? Ah. Okay, we'll find out who our imposters are. Number one, please, ma'am, uh, your name and what do you do? Yes, I'm Ray Wilder. I run the Appalachian Enterprise Craft Shop at 88 Park Avenue in Bayshore. <laughs> Thank you. And number three, suppose you tell us who you are and what you do, please. I'm Beryl Bender, and I design acrylic or plexiglass furniture and sculpture. And you all Never done... played blackjack, but I'm going You're to. You're all done a real good, good job. Thank you, Gene Brady and Impostors, for being with us to play to tell the truth. In addition to the cash awards, our first team of challengers will receive this magnificent cufflink and tie tack set by Anson, crowned with Lindy Stars, the man made jewels that rival nature's costliest gems. Our second team will receive a sparkling rhinestone bracelet, earrings, and pin set designed by Sarah Coventry called Leading Lady Evening Elegance by Sarah Coventry. Daytime is playtime with our most popular shows. Every day you must watch. Weekdays starting at noon Eastern, only on Buzzer. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Why is everyone talking about navage and nasal irrigation? I am one who suffers from chronic sinus infection. You need to clean that crap out of your nose. Navage is simple. Your nose is the body's air filter, but it's not perfect. Navage is a drug-free way to help flush out allergens, mucus, and germs using powered suction. Join nearly 3 million Navage users so you can breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier. I love this thing. It's nice to breathe. Navage, clean nose, healthy life. Do you have difficulty hearing your TV? or have trouble hearing conversations, then you would benefit from nano hearing aids. Other hearing aids are expensive and cost thousands of dollars. But if you call now, you can get two nano CIC rechargeable hearing aids for only $297. Don't be fooled by overpriced hearing aids ever again. The nano CIC rechargeable hearing aid is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. And they offer superior noise reduction and a tiny in-the-ear design that is nearly invisible. And best of all, they are incredibly affordable. Call now and get two Nano CIC rechargeable hearing aids for only $297 or opt into our payment plan of four easy interest-free payments. Plus, if you call now, we'll add a portable charging dock and your shipping is absolutely free. The Nano hearing aids come with outstanding lifetime customer support and a 45-day money-back guarantee. Supplies are limited, so you must act now. Call 1-800-240-1322. That's 1-800-240-1322. Your dinner party was a hit. Your dishwasher took a hit. Your teen is giving laundry a try. Your dryer left you hung out to dry. Date night with the crush. Ah, your toilet won't flush. Luckily, American Home Shield is there to fix or replace covered appliances and home systems to help you stay on course and budget. Protect what you don't expect. Visit AHS.com and get a free quote today. So it's spot the difference. Oh, it's so much more. It's the Roaring Twenties, dear. Whose hat is that? Discover a world of mystery, scandal. Oh, really? Romance. Oh. Murder. Nope. In June's journey, you need to be able to spot things out of the ordinary to discover important clues. Sounds good, right? Oh. Where's my tablet? There's a detective in all of us. June's Journey. Download now for free. Hey, you know something, Peggy? What? what? The funniest single spot since I've been on this show, that's so oh, a year, a little over a year, was the bagel spot. Your friend and your MCing. I don't know if that means anything about you and MC, but that was the funniest spot. So there. <laughs> it was wonderful. I forgot to ask, by the way, somebody that says a bagel maven. What is a maven? A maven uh, is a person who's a, a fan? Yes. 
You know how you say Maven in English? Marvin. Goodbye. <laughs> Promotional consideration provided by American Airlines. Traveling on business or traveling for fun, it's good to know you're on American Airlines. Hotel accommodations, courtesy of Delmonico's Hotel on Fashionable Park Avenue, ideal for gracious living. Visit famous Delmonico's restaurant for superb continental cuisine. This is Johnny Olson speaking for To Tell the Truth, the Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production.